Hello, this is Matthias from marmoworld.com and in this video I show you two techniques to fade music in Premiere Pro in or out. As an alternative, I also show how you can edit your music, so you delete or duplicate parts of it, such that the song has exactly the length you need. But let's start with the fading. So the easiest way to do it is actually to select your audio clip and then go to Sequence, Apply Audio Transition or click Shift Command D or Shift Control D on Windows. This gives you here this effect that you can make larger or smaller, both on the start and on the end. And if you want it only on the start, you can also, for example, select it here on the end and click the delete key to remove it. And now we have an audio fade in from here to this point. You can see it's getting louder and louder over time. Okay, what this actually created for us is just an effect which is called constant power across fade. And you can see, you find this also here in the effects panel. There's in on top of constant power, there's also constant gain and exponential fade. They sound uh, just a bit different than how like fast they fade the music in or out. And you can also create those by just taking them and dragging them on your clip. Now you have our constant fade here again. A very different approach, let me just delete these here is to make your clip here a bit larger and then this volume line here shows up and you should make sure when you click here on this show keyframes that clip keyframes are selected because then this line represents the volume of this particular clip and if you move the clip the line will move with it. Now you can keep the command key pressed and then the cursor will turn it to this plus and click here and I do it again, click here and I can drag this line down and this will bring the volume down and now we also have a fade in. So with this approach you are a bit more flexible because you can add as many points if you, as you want. So if you want to change the characteristics of this, you can add here for example a third point and gives this volume ramp up exactly the shape you need. So, these were two methods to fade out music in Premiere Pro and now I've got a little extra tip. Instead of just fading the music out, you can also change the duration of your song by deleting or duplicating parts of it. As an example, let's listen to this song here. Here the main part starts and now it kind of repeats. And here it repeats again with a little bit of variation, so we could try to take out the middle part. Now, if you try to find the right points where to cut here manually, I can assure you, you will never get it 100% right and it will always sound odd. But what you can do is use our extension Beat Edit. So I select this song here and click on Load Music. Now it analyzes the beats of this audio clip and next I want to generate clip markers. Now I've got the beats here right in my timeline. You can do a lot of different things with Beat Edit too, like selecting specific beats, but this is really all we need here. And now if we listen to it, we notice that at exactly this marker here, this repetition of the pattern starts. So I can cut Command K at exactly this point. And at this marker it repeats again. So I can cut again take out this part and since I snap to the markers I can be sure that my cut is 100% accurate at the right place. And let's listen to what this sounds like. So it's perfectly in the beat and for some songs this is already all you need and sometimes like here like you have a little noticeable difference because like each variation of the pattern was a little bit different and then we just do this sequence apply audio transition Let's delete this one here and now let's listen to this. So you can see you can get 100% accurate cuts and change the structure of your song easily. Remove parts, duplicate parts to make them exactly the lengths you need and also to change their mood exactly when you need it. If your song has a more intense part and a slower part, you can control the length of all of them by duplicating and removing parts easily. Again, this is made with the help of BeatEdit, which is an extension that you first have to download and install. You find it on the link in the product description. I hope you liked this video. Again, this is Matthias from mamoworld.com. And if you found this tip helpful, please like this video. It's just one click for you and it really makes a difference for me. Thank you.